Hi friends, welcome back. In today's session, we will be discussing about the reverse utility provided by Oracle Golden Gate. This utility, the reverse utility is used for undoing the changes made by the replication. For example, uh, there can be a situation where in which we accidentally make some changes to the source and the changes got replicated to the target. Maybe that, that change may be an unwanted change. So uh, on that cases, what happens is that both the source and the target is having the wrong data. So Oracle uh, Golden Gate is provided a utility, a reverse utility, which will help us to undo the changes made by the, uh, made by the replication. So there are certain limitations for the um, uh, for this utility. It will not be supporting um, the changes made on the C lob lob objects. How this utility works is that when we sp uh, specify a special type of exit for the um, for the reverse utility we working, reverse utility should be getting an input file. That input file is an output of an extract file. So in that extract file we will be specifying certain parameters like uh, capture before image. One of the parameters are capture uh, before images which will uh, um, which will force the extract utility to capture the before changes of the uh, transaction. So when this extract is running we can specify on what interval we want, uh, we want the extract to capture changes and we will be specifying a um, parameter that is captured before changes which will be capturing the changes or uh, the before images or, or the undo images of a particular transaction uh, in this time specified and then that changes will be uh, reverted or will be uh, uh, processed by the reverse utility to make the change uh, to make the transaction the reverse transaction in the right order so that the transaction will get applied on the target by the replication utility. Uh, so we will be having an, a specific replicate and as well as the extract utility. So all the uh, inserts will be um, reversed to delete and all the deletes will be um, converted into inserts. So that's how the uh, utility is working. So we'll go through the concept of uh, the uh, the reverse utility. Later point of time, we'll see how to do a practical implementation of the reverse utility. Okay, so what are the things we have to do? So we have a source and the target is there. We have to first make sure that on the source and the target, the manager process is running. Okay, and then we will be creating a test table on the source and the target. Make sure that we have a primary key on the so uh, on those um, uh, tables, and then the next step is that we will be uh, creating a continuous change capture extract or change uh, to continuous change capture on the source. So uh, as a part of this um, params continuous uh, change CDC capture pro process we will be specifying what are the uh, tables as a part of the replication. So we will be specifying this particular table which we created and then we will be creating a um, replicate on the target. Fine. And now the next point is uh, important. So to for this particular testing we will be capturing the current time using the sys date and then we'll insert some records to the source table and commit it not on the second point of uh, second time also so i before the transaction my time was 10 am now after this transaction my time is 10 15 uh, am so when we are uh, using the reverse utility uh, or when we are using the extract to capture the before images for the reverse utility we will be specifying the beginning of the time and end of the time Fine. So that new um, uh, extract, I would say that the uh, reverse uh, extract will be capturing the trans uh, will be capturing the before image of the transactions which are happened between the two time frames. Fine. So since we have configured the uh, continuous change extra extract and continuous change replicate on the source and the target, what are the uh, ins records we insert now would have been replicated to the target. So at this stage, we will verify both the source and the target is sync. Once that is done, we will be going to reverse, um, we will be going ahead with the reverse process. So for the reverse process, we need to create another extract. Please note, we need to create another extract 
which contains the uh, time of till till what time this extract should be running so while while we are uh, specifying we can specify the time of the uh, stop like we will be um, i'll i'll just take an example of uh, the uh, extract parameter the new uh, extract parameter so here you can see that the extract okay so if you are uh, uh, looking i have created an extract that extract name this is for the reversal so ext cap is my uh, extract and i'm next line i'm specifying end the time till what i wanted to run then i'll be creating the username and the password and here if you are looking this is important get updates before this parameter will force uh, extract to capture the before image of the transactions which are taken place till 10:15 okay and then i am writing this uh, output to um, output to the target server uh, and the, the output will be on the uh, particular remote drive now when i am adding the um, extract to the um, golden gate um, i am going to specify add extract ext cap trans log it is going to read the transaction log begin from what time i wanted to start say i am going to specify a time stamp of okay so here what i'm specifying that asking that uh, that extract to capture the changes from 10 am on may 21st 2010 sorry uh, it should be 2012 yeah. okay may 15 2012 so that extract will be capturing the transaction from may 21st 10 o'clock to may uh, 21st 10:15 so all the reverse original image or before transaction images will be captured and will be returned to the target server and it will be on the path da.a so that's how the extract is working so once the extract is uh, working then i'll be on the target i'll be run the reverse utility that reverse utility will take this file as input and will create an output file okay and for that uh, on the target i'll be having another replicate whose input will be this uh, output created by the reverse utility it is just like a normal um, uh, normal extract only the keyword will be that uh, will be giving a keyword called end run time which indicates that once all the records are processed the extract has to be stopped so once the extract is uh, completed the uh, processing the reversal of the transactions would have been taken place and the the order everything will be created by the reverse utility hope the concept is clear for you guys we'll do the practical implementation on in another uh, session thanks for your time